London was fundamentally important to the success of the Beatles. They were born and raised in Liverpool, but it wasn't until they came to London that they really reinvented themselves. And they started living here, and they started buying cars here, they started recording here during a period where London itself was becoming sexier, more fashionable, more colourful. I think cars contributed to their coolness in a very, very important way. During that period, cars tended to be beautiful things, and the car that I'm going to be driving today is very, very, very special. The first impression I got of the car was just how sleek and how sophisticated it is. The lines, the sort of relationships between the interior and the exterior. Paul McCartney must have looked amazing when he was driving it in 1967. Paul McCartney is beyond famous. To have that amount of talent embodied in a person who connects with multi-generational people over such a long period of time is pretty special. I think that you've only got to look at the recent movie that Peter Jackson directed, Get Back, to, to really understand how motivating and how dynamic Paul McCartney was. I think for years there was a misconception that John Lennon was the slightly edgier Beatles, but I think that it was Paul who often drove and pushed the Beatles into creative areas that they hadn't been uh, working in before. The Beatles were reinventing the 60s as London was reinventing itself, and I think that if you marry the Beatles with London, you get a swinging London, and you don't really get one without the other.